How to use Doll E2 Image Generator Complete Tutorial for Beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can generate images out of just a simple text prompt using the Doll E2 Image Generator. So let's get into it. Now, all of you might have heard of the power of AI and how AI is really taking over. You might have heard of Doll E, you might have heard of ChatGPT, or any other kind of AI tool. And I must say that these tools are amazing. And I think that if you're not making use of these tools, it's going to be your loss because soon these tools are going to be used by everyone. So it's better to be ahead of the curve and learn how to use these and integrate these into your business. Now, Doll E2 is actually an amazing AI image generator. So you can see over here, this kind of image generator allows you to create original images and, you know, different types of art styles via a simple text description. And it can combine multiple different kinds of concept, art styles, uh, painting designs, materials, so on and so forth. And you can also see that it can expand images beyond the original uh, composition. So everyone has seen this painting, the girl with the pearl earring, and then you can expand images from what they're based on. So you can actually get a background, you can get more details in a simple image. And it can also make realistic alternatives alterations of a simple image so you can see you can place you know one item in multiple different ways and it can create variable edits for you to be able to do things like interior design or architecture even for things like that this is like a very powerful tool now you can see you can also uh you know take an image and create variations of it so let's say you have a pre-existing my image in mind maybe you drew something maybe you created something or just like a random image and you want to create variations of that image you can also do that with this ai so all you have to do is go on to openai.com slash doll dash e dash two once you do that just click on sign up over here and you can sign up via your email address, Google or Microsoft account, and that is it. So once you log in, this is going to be your section. And from here, you can begin generating AI generated images. Now, if you scroll down, you will see a few different prompts or examples of what other people have been generating. You will see on the top right, you have credits. Now, credits are, are going to be allotted to you for free, but after some time, you're going to have to buy some extra credits and after every two weeks, uh, Dell E gives you like 15 to 20 credits. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I think it's around that estimate. So after two weeks, you can get more credits, but uh, you can see over here, you can click on collections and build collections as well. And you can make private or public collections. And I'm just going to click on create collection or if you want to, you know, categorize your images, you can do that. Now, the first thing you can see over here, this is like our simple text section where we can type in our text. Then we also have our surprise me section where it can create its own prompt. Then you also can upload an image to edit. So if you have a pre-existing image in mind, you can actually upload this. So let's say I upload this image of this dog, click on crop. Click on generate variations and I can actually use the AI to generate variations or, you know, uh, maybe create this image in a different art style, create it in the form of a painting, so on and so forth. So this really is a super powerful tool in terms of just using a pre-existing image or creating your own original one. And I'll show you guys exactly how you can create original images as well as build consistency within those original images. So I'm just waiting for this to be completed. And obviously, because this is such a, you know, complex tool, it's doing such a complex task, it might take a little longer. Uh, usually, if it's like a simple prompt, it will generate the uh, image as quickly. But if you give a more detailed prompt, the more time that the AI needs to be able to generate a image. But it usually takes like a, a minute or two to complete a single image. And you can see now our image has been generated. So you can see this was my original. 
these are the variations and uh you know that is you know a very great way for you to you know measure things or you know if you're a interior design student or a design student to be able to see how multiple different variations of an item might look like instead of having to spend hours and hours on creating illustrations to know the difference between two arrangements you can use an ai to build those images and then do a comparison to reduce the amount of time that you have to spend now i'm going to show you guys the next feature which is the surprise me feature so I'm just going to click on surprise me and it's going to give me multiple different, uh, you know, prompts. It's going to show me an armchair in the shape of an avocado, 3D render of small pig balloon, crayon drawing of several cute colorful monsters, an astronaut lounging in a tropical resort in space, you know, like this. So you can see there are so many different prompts that it can give you and I'm using a stained glass window depicting a robot. So that is the surprise prompt that I am using to generate a simple image. So we're just waiting for the prompt to be completed and it takes like 30 seconds to a minute to down, you know, create the image. And with that, you can even expand on images. So you can take an image and then save it from here and then upload it and then ask it to create variations from that specific uh, AI generated image. So you really can build consistent worlds, consistent characters within this specific AI. Just build your character, enter your character prompt once. The results that you get, pick out the one that you like the most, download that image use that image and upload it again to generate further variations of that. So you can see uh, I have a stained glass window depicting a robot. And let's say I really like this image. So I can click on this and click on variations and it can build me more variations. Now let's enter our own prompt and see how the AI deals with a unique prompt provided by us. So let's say we have so coconut cookies in a jewelry shop as the most important item. So this is a very random idea. I just had it in my mind and let's see what the AI built for us. So you can really build a very creative and distinctive art style with this as well. You can build um, very creative characters. You can really uh, get any item, any non-living item and ask the AI to build a character out of it and the AI will be doing it in a fashion that is going to be the most appealing to the eye, that is going to be the most easy to look at. So this can be a really great tool if you're writing stories, writing children's books, or even just doing it for fun can be really amazing because you are getting free credits after every two weeks. So, you know, it's going to be a great way for you to see a, you know, creative side and, you know, get multiple different ideas. And then you can even create eBooks to sell on Amazon or, you know, market this or monetize it if you want to do that. So now we're just waiting for the new AI image to be generated. So you can see over here, this has been generated and you can create more variations of this. You can, you know, build more versions of this. You can ask it to do this in a certain art style as well. And you can build multiple different consistent collections using this AI as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the Doll E2 image generator and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.